Galveston is a great place to enjoy a golf cart ride. Many of our families and tourists use this method of transportation to explore our island, run errands, and during their daily commute. The Galveston Police Department wants to ensure that you and your family stay safe while using your golf cart. So here are a few things you should know concerning safety and the rules and regulations while using your low speed vehicle. Low speed vehicles such as golf carts are regulated by federal, state and local laws and may only be legally driven at a maximum of 35 miles per hour on public roadways. Golf carts can be operated on public roadways that have a posted speed limit of 35 miles per hour or less, have no more than two lanes of vehicular traffic per direction, are not designated as part of either the state or federal highway system such as Seawall Boulevard between 6th and 61st Street. Golf carts are not permitted on public streets as follows. Roadways where the posted speed limit exceeds 35 miles per hour, Avenue O between 53rd and 15th streets, and Avenue P between 19th and 53rd streets. Roadways which are designated as part of the state highway system, including the Pelican Island Causeway, Harborside Drive, and Siwa Boulevard west of 61st Street and east of 6th Street. Golf carts cannot be driven on sidewalks and can only be operated on beaches that allow vehicular access except for those with a disability. It's important to remember that you may only operate a golf cart on a public roadway if you meet the following criteria. You have a valid driver's license. Your golf cart has a registration permit, which may be obtained from the Galveston Police Department. You maintain proof of current financial responsibility for the golf cart, and you comply with all applicable traffic regulations, as well as all relevant federal, state, and local laws. It is important to remember that all golf carts must be insured and have the following minimum equipment. Headlamps, tail lamps, reflectors, parking brakes, mirrors, and a slow moving vehicle emblem. Additionally, golf carts that are operated east of 103rd Street must be equipped with turn signals, a horn, brake lights, and seat belts. A driver and passengers in a golf cart will likely be at more risk while operating on public roadways. So here are a few things that you can do to help mitigate some of that risk. While the golf cart is in motion, the driver and every passenger must remain seated. Do not stand or ride in the lap of the driver and or other passengers of a golf cart while it is moving. Do not drink and drive while operating a low speed vehicle. The Texas Transportation Code defines a golf cart as a motor vehicle, so the open container and driving while intoxicated laws apply and are punishable by law. If operating the golf cart east of 103rd Street, all occupants must wear seat belts while the vehicle is in motion. ATV slash UTV all-terrain vehicles like side-by-sides are not golf carts and must be registered as motor vehicles through the Texas DMV as such. For more information, you can visit the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles at txdmv.gov or you can visit the city's website at galvestontx.gov forward slash golf cart safety. So now that you know the ins and the outs of golf cart operation, we hope you have fun exploring all the great things to do here on Galveston Island.